my um, eighth grade science teacher, Miss Hornbacher, <laughs> inspired me because she kind of singled me out because she would always ask me quite difficult questions and I would answer them, attempt to answer them. And, and I liked that if you understood sort of a few basic principles, you could put them together and come up with an explanation for something. I support uh, research in computational neuroscience and in uh, bio-inspired autonomous systems. Bio-inspired means you're taking the principles in nature of uh, how do aquatic animals have efficient propulsion and a great agility in responding to currents in, in the situation and sensing things that we can't sense and take those principles and turn them into technology and it takes teams where you have a biologist who knows about a, a particular animal and their special abilities and, and how those are implemented you ha usually have some modelers who can turn it into computational models. You have engineers who can build things. They might be in mechanics or fluid dynamics or, uh, or mechatronics is sort of the, a core technology for robotics. And these teams together uh, build these systems. Octavia is one of the projects that we've been supporting that, that started out as a, 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 a grant to MIT, to Cynthia Brazil, to design that MDS, Mobile Dexterous Social Robot. And now uh, a number of those have been built and put in the Naval Research Lab and are going, they're going to other universities as well. And that's a platform for research on human-robot interaction. The really challenging thing is getting to cognitive skill level, to getting to the cognitive skills that people have and implementing them in uh, computational systems, in intelligent systems. Did anyone envision how dependent we'd be on our, our PCs? Imagine that you have human scale intelligence in your assistant and they also have dexterous uh, manipulation abilities. Uh, so you have to imagine how people will, will make use of this.